Friends, if you are going for an interview or thinking about going for an interview, then this video is going to be very useful for you. Because in this video, I am going to tell you top 5 questions which are asked in the interview of electrician. In the first question, it is asked what is Megar and why Megar is used. So here you will see the answer as Megar is a type of device which is used to measure resistance of insulation. What's the meaning of this? Look, here I am showing you a picture of Megar. This is a Megar. Through this Megar, resistance of insulation of any cable or a motor is measured. Like you have seen a cable, there are cores in cable. Here R phase core, Y phase core and B phase core is there. So in between, if we have to measure resistance of insulation, then we use this Megar. Now suppose in an interview it is also asked where this Megar is used. Then your answer must be Megar is a type of device which measures resistance of insulation. And we also use Megar to check motor. Only this much answer you have to give. Now let's move on to second question. Our second question is about star delta starter. I mean it is asked in question why star delta starter is used. This question is asked a lot of time with me also. Till now I faced almost 20 interviews and in almost every interview this question was asked to me. So you must know the answer of this question. Friends if it is asked to you in an interview why star delta starter is used then you have to give the answer as star delta starter is used to reduce starting current of motor. Friends as you know induction motor we use starting current of induction motor is very high so what we do we make star delta starter. What happen after connecting star delta starter is starting current get reduced. So here you have to give this answer only that we use star delta starter for reducing starting current. Friends one more question arises here in this question it can be asked how this starter reduces starting current. Then you have to give answer as when we turn on motor in star delta starter we connect motor winding in star first. By connecting motor winding in star, motor winding receives root 3 voltage. It means motor winding gets low voltage. This is why starting current of motor is reduced. Now regarding this, you must also know some more things. Here you should know in the star delta starter, three contactors are used. One main contactor, one delta contactor and one star contactor. When we turn on motor, then first of all star contactor gets turned on. Friends in the interview you may also be asked to explain power wiring and control wiring of star delta starter. So you should have knowledge about control wiring and power wiring. I provided the link regarding this in description so you can go to that link for learning these things. Now let us move on to next question. In the next question it is asked what is RCCB and how much milliampere RCCB we should use. So friends question here is what is RCCB. You have to give answer as RCCB is a current sensing device which disconnects circuit due to earth fault in connected circuit. What is the meaning of this? Let's understand. This RCCB we have with outgoing terminal of RCCB whatever load we connect among these terminals wire of any one terminal or on a single load if any kind of earth fault occurs then in this condition current starts flowing in ground. Then in this condition this RCCB will break the power supply. So we can also say that this RCCB saves us from electric shocks. So here I hope you got that what answer you can give. Your answer will be RCCB is a kind of current sensing device which disconnects circuit due to earth fault in a connected circuit. Only this much answer you have to give. As it is asked in question how much milliampere RCCB we should use. So answer here is 30 milliampere RCCB will be used in our home. In industries you must have seen that there 100 milliampere RCCB is also used because 30 milliampere RCCB trips a lot. To reduce this tripping 100 milliampere RCCB is used. Now let us move on to next question. Friends question which is asked here is about series motor. In this question it is asked why we do not turn on series motor without load. For giving answer of this you just have to say starting torque of series motor is very high this is why after connecting with load only series motor must be turned on. Now we are talking about series motor so we must know two three things more regarding series motor. Look we use series motor for trains elevators or hoists. Now series motor we have to start this series motor one starter is used 
and we call this starter as two point starter. Okay, now let's move on to next question. In the last question, it is asked what is universal motor. In an interview, if you were asked about universal motor, then you have to give answer only as universal motor is a special kind of motor which can run on DC power supply as well as AC power supply. It means universal motor is designed in a way that it can run on DC power supply and AC power supply both. Now friends, starting talk of this universal motor is also very high. This is why it is also known as series motor of AC. So here you have to give answer as universal motor is special type of motor which can work on DC power supply and AC power supply both and starting talk of universal motor is very high. This is why it is also known as series motor of AC. Friends regarding universal motor there are few more things to know. If we run this universal motor on no load I mean if we do not connect any load then RPM of this motor can be up to 25,000 RPM. That is very high RPM. We use this universal motor in drill machines, hair dryers, table fans and grinders. So friends I wanted to discuss only 5 questions with you which are very important from interview point of view. Friends if you like this video then please do like, share and comment on this video and if you didn't subscribe my channel yet then please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.